So now that we've worked out a, a variational method which is equivalent to the Schrodinger equation, we can use that to actually get an approximation to the Schrodinger equation. And so if you haven't seen that video, well, you might want to go and have a look at it. Uh, otherwise, if you're here because you wanted to just get to the media bit without going through the proof, um, this is all you need to know. So to get your approximation based on the vari variational methods, say you, know, you have some Hamiltonian and you don't know what its solution is. What you're going to do is you're going to firstly invent a function. So this is just a procedure. So the first thing you're going to do is invent a function. And it can be any function you like, but it should be sensible and it should uh, obey the boundary conditions. It can have parameters, alpha, beta, etc., where alpha and beta, etc., uh, are some parameters. You should make sure that psi obeys boundary conditions. And you should uh, make sure that it's normalized. Then what you're going to do is you're going to calculate uh, epsilon, which is a function of all of your parameters. And it's nothing but the expectation value of the Hamiltonian. Uh, so you're going to calculate that epsilon um, where epsilon alpha beta is now going to be a function because you don't know what those parameters are going to be of alpha and beta. But you want to find the correct alphas and betas the best ones. So the next step is to find its minimum. Or I should say the extremum. So find the alpha such that the ed alpha equals zero and the beta such that the ed beta equals zero, or more generally, you need to find alpha and beta such that both of these are zero, and so on, and for any other parameters as well. Usually you'll only use one or two though. At this point, you've found alpha and beta that make the min that minimize epsilon so you found alpha min beta min dot 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 so you can now get the epsilon min which is equal to epsilon at alpha min, beta min, dot, dot, dot. And this is going to be approximately equal to the ground state energy E naught. 
And that's it. So this gives you an approximate value for the ground state energy. Uh, we'll be doing specific examples in class and in the tutorials, but uh, there are some famous examples that you should be aware of. So famous examples. of this includes the mean field approximation the Hartree-Fock method in atomic physics and in nuclear physics and elsewhere and uh, the Barton Cooper Schweifer BCS theory of superconductivity in other words you can win the Nobel Prize using the variational method so we'll be doing specific examples of this in class.